What's up, gentlemen? So I got a question for you. What are you doing? Like, seriously, like, what are you doing? You are so damn good looking. It's ridiculous. You're also super charming and amazing, but unfortunately, you're making some style mistakes that are destroying your ability to be sexy as hell. Gentlemen, today I'm going over them because I want you to be sexy as hell. Number one is black suits, all right? I automatically know that you're not stylish if you're rocking a black suit, all right? Black suits are never an option, in my opinion, except you're going to like a funeral. Other than that, black is a horrible color for a suit. Instead, go charcoal gray. Instead, go navy blue. Instead, go pretty much any other color other than black because it sucks. Number two is dirty shoes. Dirty, nasty, scuffed up shoes are a deal breaker in terms of you and your style. Guys, bottom line is this. Everybody notices your shoes, right? A woman, she looks at you and then boom, down at your shoes because she wants to see what type of man you are. And if you're rocking dirty kicks, unfortunately, you are not a man. She's going to get frisky or freaky with. Number three is lame glasses, all right? Glasses are one of those things that are a potential opportunity, but they also can be a liability. Guys, you wanna look for a pair of glasses or frames that have interest, that have structure, that have detail. Think of glasses as an accessory that you get to wear on your face. And the beautiful thing is that glasses are automatically gonna help balance your face. They also are gonna make you look more attractive and more interesting. But if you're rocking Uncle Barry glasses, they make you literally look like a creepy bus driver. Hey. The next mistake that kills your style, it doesn't matter how much you spend on something or how amazing you think you look, and that is lint dog hair fuzz on your sweater. Gentlemen, right here, yeah, did you see that? It's a lint roller, it costs literally like two bucks before you leave the house, right there, yeah, exactly. It's gonna help keep you sexy. Now, if you've got a bunch of fuzz balls on your sweater, also not sexy. And so what I'd recommend is go to Amazon and buy one of those like sweater ball shaving things, right? They're fun, they're easy to use, it's kind of like manscaping your sweater. All right, which brings me to the next thing that a stylish sexy dude never wears, and that is a big, baggy, oversized sweater. Now, I know that it's kind of like trendy, but the truth is if you want to look the best you possibly can, you need to make sure that you're wearing clothing that fits your body, all right? A lightweight merino wool is going to be a lot better in terms of an option for a sweater, all right? A v-neck versus a crew neck. I know you're asking, right? Well, v-neck, in my opinion, makes your face look more angular because it draws the eye down, meaning it's going to help strengthen your jaw. It also simultaneously makes your shoulders appear wider and broader and more muscular. The v-neck sweater is also perfect for layering over top of a polo as as long as it's not a dorky little boy polo, which is the next mistake. Gentlemen, here's the deal. Polos are a shirt that every single one of you needs in order to look amazing, but there's a big difference between a dorky dad polo and one that looks like a little boy wears it. Polo perfection. Seriously though, this is my favorite polo, right? I love black because in my opinion, when you wear like the proper sexy black polo, it makes you literally look like James Bond, all right? This one is from Collars & Co. They are today's video sponsor. Guys, I'm gonna link down below to Collars & Co. If you go through there, there is also a discount code that you have to use in order to grab an amazing deal, but the deal is sweet and special, like their polos. So I first heard about Collars & Co. watching Shark Tank. It's my favorite show and I saw this company and they're like, yo, we perfected the polo. I was I was like, really? Let me hear more. And so basically they go through all the ways that they have made the perfect polo, right? And it really solves all the other polo problems that you're gonna find with standard polos, right? You can't dress up a standard polo. It's too casual to wear under a suit and it doesn't really work under a sweater. They also made it basically have a dress shirt collar. They've got a few different options. They've got the button down, they've got the cutaway, they've got the standard spread, and then they've got the English spread. Four collars to pick from, right? And the thing that I love so much is the fabric. It is soft, it is lightweight, it's not too tight, it's not too boxy, it's perfect. It is literally the perfect polo. And apparently, I'm not the only one that thought that because Mark Cuban invested like over a million dollars in this company. Layer it underneath of a lightweight sweater, right? This sweater is, once again, from Collars & Co. It's amazing, it's super lightweight, and look at it, right? Super perfect. And the thing that I love about rocking these polos underneath of a sweater is that you don't have those long sleeves like like you did like trying to basically layer like a regular button-up shirt underneath it, right? They've still got the short sleeve, but it looks put together. It literally looks like a dress shirt because of the collar, and that's the thing. You can also rock it under a suit. I mean, seriously, right? Exactly. Super sexy black Collars & Co. 
polo underneath of a sexy ass suit, I'm killing it. And so will you. Gentlemen, bottom line is this. If you're ready to upgrade your wardrobe and get some shirts that don't suck, hit the link down below. Check out Collars & Co. Like I said, they've got a lot more than perfect polos. They've got everything from sweaters, the button-up shirts, the pants, the jackets. They are killing the game, and you are going to be killing it when you rock these sexy ass clothes. Hit the link, use the code, and get a great deal on the perfect polo. Fake leather jackets are a no-go when it comes to looking smooth and sexy. Gentlemen, here's the deal. Invest in a higher quality leather jacket. There's nothing that makes you look like more like low budget than like fake leather and it looks fake. Yes, everybody can tell it's a fake jacket. It doesn't wear, it doesn't look, it doesn't fit, it doesn't drape like leather. Now, if some of you are like, yo, I'm vegan, I don't want to do that whole like thing to cows, I'm like, no problem. Bomber, gentlemen, go bomber, right? Bombers are an incredible jacket that every single dude needs. Now, the upside to wearing just a standard bomber made out of fabric is that it's A, a lot more affordable, it's also vegan friendly and it also makes you look like like a badass. But, exactly, did you see that? Did you like that? Were you like, yo Alvin, what shirt are you wearing? Exactly. Boom! Wife beater. Quite possibly one of the most amazingly douchey shirts a dude can rock. Now, I know some of you are like, yo, can I wear it as a base layer? Okay, I'll give you that. But if you're just rocking it solo style, you look like a huge douche, even at the gym. Instead, I would go with something that's a little bit more like refined, right? This tank top came from H&M. It was literally like $3, right? And it looks a lot more put together and a lot more acceptable than a wife beater. But what doesn't look acceptable is how much crap I've got jammed in my pockets. Seriously, like fat wallets and shampoos and clay masks and like knives and pens and tweezers, not to mention phones, gentlemen, keys. Here's the deal. If you are rocking a bunch of crap in your pockets, it's totally distorting the clean, sexy nature and line of your pants. The only package I want you rocking is the one in the front and in the back. White denim. I'm just saying it doesn't look good. Something else that doesn't are mom jeans. They look stupid. Dad jeans also don't look that great. Something else that looks terrible. Bang, exactly, distressed, are you kidding me? Gentlemen, any tight pants also, we gotta talk about. If your jeans or denim or pants or chinos or slacks are too tight, this is a sign that you need to size up. If you can see your package and tell if that you're circumcised or not, bad news. You also need to make sure that you are wearing underwear underneath workout shorts that are sheer because nobody wants to see your your belt, gentlemen, big thick belts, out of style. Big huge belt buckles, out of style. In my opinion, less is more. Now, we gotta also talk about something else belt related, and that is matching your belt and your shoes, all right? If you're wearing brown boots, brown shoes, and you're wearing a black belt, you look stupid, don't do it. Your shoes are super shiny, and your belt is a little bit more casual in nature in terms of a matte finish, don't do it. You gotta make sure that they work together, they coordinate, all right? Your shoes and your belt should match if you're wearing leather, but, if you're gonna be going a little bit more casual, then you should also consider a more casual belt, something fabric. You don't necessarily need to have them match, but you need to have them coordinate. Last thing we're gonna talk about is t-shirts, all right? Now, number one, don't wear anything offensive, right? It's stupid. In terms of graphic t-shirts, if you wanna wear one, I think it's fine, but you gotta make sure you don't overdo it, all right? In my opinion, a clean, classic t-shirt, whether or not it's a crew neck, a v-neck, a pocket tee, or plain front, is a great addition to a wardrobe. You must have it, right? It's great for summer, springtime, or even layering. But what's not great is anything offensive like we talked about or something that is big and oversized and too baggy because it's gonna make you look short and it's also gonna make your arms look super small. Which brings me to the last tip I wanna give you. If you want your guns to look as big as possible, you gotta make sure your triceps aren't covered, all right? It's all about getting those sleeves up and exposing the tricep, right? Your tricep makes up two thirds of the size of your arm. But when you cover it or those sleeves are coming down too long, unfortunately, you're not looking as big as possible. Get them up and you will look jacked.